Welcome back again. So I wanted to talk about cat clamp. Well, I've done videos that people have had this on their, their vehicle already and they come back with a stolen cat. This thing has a lot of loopholes in it if you understand what I'm saying. Get it, loopholes? I'm not installing this. I advised them not to buy this product. I mean, how long is it really gonna take to install this thing? Don't waste your money, people. I mean, look at this. Do you seriously think that that's any type of protection? It may be a little bit of a deterrent, but for the guy who's doing this every day, he's just gonna take his long sawzall blade, go between these two pieces, and these sawzall blades are so high quality today, they'll cut right through this shit, no problem. So you're, but you bought this product, then you're gonna pay an experienced guy like myself to install it, and then hope that it actually works. I'm gonna tell you, I would pass on this product. That's just my opinion. Uh, we're gonna install it because that's what he wants us to do. Um, and I'll have one of my installers put it on, but I just, I don't know. I would say it's got too many gaps, too many gaps. You know, if, if you had an area where your vehicle was sitting and people were in, in and out and moving near it all the time, I'd say, yeah, if the guy was going to consider stealing your catalytic converter, he may pass. But if your truck is sitting in a parking lot where there's nobody around for days and days and days, dude, they're going to slice that shit right off and go buy a big bag of crack or feed your family, one or the other. So I would pass on this product. It's just my opinion. Thanks for watching.